And then my next poem is entitled, Where Giants Walked. It's reminiscences while walking on Duke of Gloucester Street in Colonial Williamsburg. A stroll on this historic street provokes an awesome sense that here they met and talked. The sunlight filters through majestic oaks as reverently I walk where giants walked. We call them patriots of times long gone. Virginians all, they shared a common dream. Their forebears set a standard whereupon the sons made freedom their enduring theme. The capital from 1699 for 80 years through peace and joy and fear, this city, Williamsburg, remained a shrine of liberty evolving year by year. As foreign rule increasingly inflamed the spark of revolutionary thought, Virginia's leaders forcefully proclaimed that they would not be bullied nor be bought. When Jefferson and Henry, Mason, Bland and Washington, the Randolphs and the Lees, and Harrison and Braxton were on hand, the city hosted greatness, freedom's keys. Resounding oratory filled the air, the capital intense with fervent sound. Debate resumed at Raleigh's Tavern, where the seeds of freedom fell on fertile ground. The risks were high, but passion for their goal defeated fear that lesser men sustained. They formed a union with both heart and soul, a gallant victory that brave men gained. This sojourn down Colonial Promenade recalls for me how these men earned renown, commitment to their cause and faith in God, where giants walked in Williamsburg, their town. 